Creation Centre. It is the second game of the day for the Hoops Picks Prime Summer League 2023. Brought to you by Stance Socks. And contested.com. Emerald in the black uniforms. Sapphire in the red uniforms. A reminder of how this works. 38 minutes of action will go by without the clock stopping. Except for timeouts and period breaks, of course. Final two minutes of the game as the triple goes. Fatma Jenna puts it down. And Team Sapphire. On the lead. And puts it away a second time. So five point to nothing. Full Team Sapphire. Making her way to the basket though that time. Chimwe Wunzi. Gets down the two. So as Ryan Rawlings puts it home, the ARU captain from last season. Seven plays two. So a brilliant start from Team Sapphire. It's what they need. They're currently bottom of the standings. 0-2 oh record. They're playing the top team, Emerald. Now all the women's teams, they make it through to the semi-finals given that there's one pool of four teams so they all make it through to the semis so this could be depending on how this game goes a dress rehearsal as that's a great drive and finish Carla Pausland depending on how this game goes it's going to dictate what our semi-final matchups will look like in the women's division Emerald and Ruby, they are not set to meet in the semi-finals because first and second spots are now wrapped up. Team Emerald will take the top spot. Team Ruby will take the second spot. And now it's between Diamond, who just lost, and Sapphire. So if Sapphire take the win, that should see them leapfrog Team Diamond. And set up a contest with Team Ruby in the semis. So we'll get to that as and when. Remember the foul rules. If you're fouled in the act of shooting a two, you go to the line, one free throw with two. Oh my goodness! Bank is open! Still on a Sunday. Tyra Phelan takes full advantage from outside. We're tied at seven. Spin move, Janet. Fouled in the act of shooting. So she's going to go to the stripe. You've already seen it once. She's going to shoot one free throw. It's going to be worth two points. Let's just say she was shooting a three and was fouled in the act of that. To the stripe. One shot. Three points. Okay. And it's good for two. And outside. Oh, lovely, lovely pass. Good cut by De Marcelino Alonso. Couldn't finish. And Jess Baksh with the vision. Not able to get the finish. She was on the way. No good from Baksh. And there's Ryan Rawlings taking it up the floor. Yes, the bounce pass ahead of her. That can't go from Tiba Roberts. And Batch. Denied kicks to Phelan at the top. Already sent one triple down so far. Guarded all the way by Imogen Yu. Does a good rebound by Molly Lavin. Lavin puts it up. Just off the mark. Rebound. Chinwe wins it. Pausland spins her way to the dunker spot, puts it home off the glass. Good for two more. We're tied at nine. Roberts puts up the triple. Just too strong. Pausland and Molly Lavin battling away. Last touch, Lavin. So says our match official. We have 
a three referee crew for this one. Karate de Marcelino Alonso. Pretty vocal that. I don't think she wanted to send it all the way cross court at that moment in time. Jessica Beeler into the game for the first time. Finds Phelan on the outside. No good from three. And we're still tied at nine. Jana. Take up the floor. No real advantage to not picking up the ball at this time. Janet heads to the stripe. We've got 4.20 left in the first period of play. And Jana sinks the two from the stripe. 11 plays nine. Parota de Mejolino Alonso sends it to the corner. Tyra Phelan gives Emerald three points. They trail by one. One. In fact, sorry, they lead 12 11. Spin move. Jana fouled in the act of shooting, puts it down. Headed to the stripe. Can she add one more? We're going to see Jan Michaels. Checking in with Sylvia Almonte. Yude sits down as does Tiba Roberts. <laughs> Janet misses the chance to make it at three points. Karate de Mejarino Alonso goes behind her back. Finds Phelan. Oh, Ryan Rawlings. Yes, picks her pocket. Finds Janna. Got to get over the timeline. And they do. With Janna. Finds Michael in and out of the hands of Michaels. Her instinct was right to follow the ball. And then she stopped herself. And then it went out of play. De Mercolino Alonso. Through the legs. Drives, kicks to the corner. This is very good play from Emerald. It's what you'd expect. A little too strong into the hands of Jana. No look pass to Rawlings. Lays out, couldn't grab it. You should be seeing Milen Gamabaz in a couple of minutes' time. Checking in. And to take out the jewelry is Di Mercolino Alonso. And it's off to Ando. Gets it back. Thought about the three. Long two just off of the mark from Bela. Jana. Just stops. Drops it in. The three is good from Jana. Sapphire, stretch her legs, 16 plays, 12. Feeling, oh my! She enjoyed that. That's three from outside for Feeling. Jana, you know she's thinking three, goes to the break. Oh, banks it home! Let them know, Fats, let them know. Now, all eyes on Feeling as Ando has it up the floor. Still Ando, trying to go down low to Jess Beeler, can finish. Gamma Vaz checks in for Ryan Rawlings. Carlota de Mejalino Alonso sits down. She's replaced by Chinway Awunzi. Super quick player, Awunzi. Molly Lavin sets the screen for... That Marjana, who commits the offensive foul, and she picked that up like a running back in the Canadian Football League driving through there. Twelve seconds left in the first period. This has flown by Tyra Phelan. 
Can't let her get a shot off. The three is short. And Chiwe Awunzi on the spot to put home the two on the rebound. And that's going to do it. The end of one. 19 play 17. Team Emerald lead. Sorry, team, S team Sapphire lead. Oh, my word. Having a mare here. Team Sapphire lead over Team Emerald. 19 plays 17. After 10 here at the Hoops Fix Pro Summer League 2023. Going to take just a moment. We're brought to you by Stan Socks and Contested.com. Well, welcome back in here, Brixton Rec Centre, Hoop Six Prime Summer League 2023. And we have seen a quality first matchup of the day. Diamond taking on Ruby. It was Team Ruby, 64 50 winners. She needs back for Norton with a casual 23 points. And in this one, we are being treated to a bit of a, well, another shootout. 19 plays 17. Team Sapphire in the lead in the red uniforms it's team emerald and in the black uniforms tara feeling has hit three from outside already that's a strong attack in the rim elliot ando ties up at 19 apiece good drive good finish she's gonna go to the stripe to add one more tiwa roberts Our leading scorer in the matchup so far, Fatima Janet, 17 points as that, as, uh, as that free throw doesn't go. Janelle Michaels driving in, still driving, doesn't get the call. Denied by one of the swarming Emerald defenders. Chimwe Wunzi has the lane, can't finish. Good defense again, Roberts getting in between player in the basket did just enough and it is team sapphire ball they're up 21 19 two changes coming or changes coming for both sides looks like three for emerald we will see what happens next time by is michaels kicks to the top thought about well, just directing the traffic for gamma vaz gamma vaz not able to keep it alive jana checking in in fact Everybody's changing. Janet, Ran Rawlings, Imogen Yud. And. Alicia Moore. And it is Moore in possession, driving through. Can't finish. And that's no mistake from Molly Lavin. Bowsland tried to kick to the corner. Imogen Yud was there. It's back into the hands of Jess Bach. No good. Good rebound to Ewunzi. High off the glass. It's good play from Ewunzi. That's a tenacious basketball player as Jenna tried to uh, take it to the rim. Couldn't go. And Winsy is going to sit down. Carlotta de Mercalino Alonso back into the game. Jumps on the way. Just a 
touch strong. Two points still the lead for Team Sapphire over Team Emerald. Tyra Feeling looking for the three. Can't get the shot away. Strong drive. Sent Rawlings flying. No call on the play. Lavin's going to take it herself. Can't go. Gets her own board. Too low on the shot. Imercolino Alonso with the board. Nice pass out to back. Show a bit of timeline. Has Palsen with her. Feelings in the corner. Use it. The bank shot is good. Elia Ando for two. We're tied at 23. Rawlings picks up, drive, kick, Lavin, mid-range, Jays, nothing but net. 25 plays 23. Team Sapphire looking for their first win of the competition, and a win would elevate them to third in the standings. It's a held ball going to go the way of Team Sapphire and third in the standings would mean that they play second in the standings Team Ruby in the semi-finals as opposed to Team Emerald Jan over the timeline picked up by Di Marcolino Alonso great Green set by Gamma Vaz, couldn't get it to go. Marcarino Alonso ties his back up at 25. Took it coast to coast, went baseline. Made no mistakes with the finish. Image and Yude has it in the mid-range. Kicks to Jana. Jana doesn't take the shot direct, puts up the shot inside. She's fouled in the act of shooting. Eight with the foul. That is Carlotta de Marcarino Alonso. So, Jana to shoot one shot. It's going to be worth two points when it goes down. 27 plays 25. Team Sapphire stretching their, well, I say stretching their advantage, regaining their advantage. That's 19 points on the morning so far for Jana. Just off the mark from Powsman. Kamavaz, the double Ooh, didn't come. Looked like it was going to. Alicia Moore. Still Moore. Fouled in the act of shooting. Black number seven, Jeff Beeler. With the foul, second team foul. I make that her first personal foul. But I will double check. Hmm. I think that is her second personal foul, actually. Just short by Moore, so it's still a two-point lead. That can be erased in a second by Team Emerald, but not with a pass like that as Jana taking it the other way. Battling with Macarena Alonso. Good defense. But Macarena Alonso, she didn't get a touch on that. And that is a four-point swing as Kyla Powslin finishes under the basket. We're tied at 27. Again, credit the Mercolino Alonso battling with Jana as Gamma Vaz back to the basket, tries to get the shot away, blocked by Powsland. Baksh oh, gets hit back, wasn't expecting it there, Powsland. Three changes coming for Team Emerald as the Mercolino Alonso can't quite hit from outside. Jana, 19 points already, finds Michaels. Michaels. Again, really good. Hassling play. Triples good. Tiwa Roberts. A Jessica Bieler in her face. Didn't make any difference. Ooh. Bieler, a little bit too strong on the three. Kamavaz. Has it stolen? I think she'd gone for a bit of a walk anyway. Changes come in. Rawlings will come for Jana. Molly Lavin will come for, we'll say Gamma Vaz. 
and Almonte is in for Moore. Were there changes for the team in the black uniforms? There were. Tyra Phelan is back into the game. In place of De Mercalino Alonso as Baksh. Getting a little bit fancy with it behind the back. Phelan picked up by Roberts. Great defence. Chue Wunze also back into the game. Trying to drive. Couldn't finish. She's come for Bila. Salmonte tapped it away initially. Pausland, oh, that nearly went. As Michaels has it stolen away by Iwunzi. Pausland finds Phelan. Phelan to the break. Three. Just off the mark. But you have to respect her anytime she's near the three point line as a foul called. So she's going to go to the stripe to shoot. Oh, forgive me, who's on the floor? So Michaels sits down. Imogen Yude back in. Uh, there are too many players as Rawlings heads back to the bench. Imogen Yude checks in. Roberts keeps it alive. Finds Lavin. Yude, the Welsh wizard, finds Lavin. Looks him strong. On the triple. And Phelan, final possession of the, the first half if they want it. Again, where has the time gone? Ten seconds to shoot. It's with Phelan at the break. Triple is off the mark. Jana, five seconds. Sends the long pass forward to Roberts. Roberts can't collect, puts it up. And it's a little bit too strong at the end of the first half. Team Sapphire lead it 30 to 27 over Team Emerald. That's going to do it for the first half. We'll be back in about two and a half minutes' time. You're watching Hoop 6 Prime Summer League 2023. It's game two here at the Brixton Rec Centre, brought to you by Stan Sox and Contested.com. One more come back in. It's the Who's Fix Prime Summer League 2023. It's our second game of the day, week three, our final week of pools action before we head to the semi final rounds and the five eight qualifying matches in the men's side of the tournament. You're watching Team Emerald taking on Team Sapphire. It's Team Sapphire who are yet to win so far in the competition. They are up by three, 
30-27 over the tabletop in Team Emerald. And their position at the top of the table, don't think that's going to get touched. But we will see how it all works out at the end of the game, points differential-wise. So Team Emerald looking to get back on level terms. Uh, didn't go the first time up the floor. Janna taking it the other way. Step back. Chubbs on the way. Oh, my word. Just makes it look so simple. Janna, that is her 22nd point of the contest. Saw what Shanice did in the first game as triple goes. Jess back. Immediate response. Just to finish that thought about Janna. Saw that Beckford Norton had 23, wanted to eclipse that. Beckford Norton had that in the entire game. Janna's basically had that in the first half and a bit. Lavin. Got it by Phelan. Out of their hands, took a touch. Imogen Ude finds Janna. Good ball movement, Roberts. Oh, wanted to go, didn't. My Lavin has her pocket picked. Taking it the other way is Elia Ando. She's dispossessed by Roberts. Molly Lavin, can she keep it in play? She can. Sends it into the paint. Imogen Ude was trailing more to the right wing. Not able to get it that time as Baksh. Having to go inside. Big bit of contact. Ah, three in the key. We used to say, oh, you don't see that often, do you? You don't see, don't see that called. And then officials across the country really tightened up on it. T. Roberts takes it over the timeline. Finds Imogen you somebody who's not Shy to take a three-point shot. Molly Lavin on the assist from Ude. Fouled in the act of shooting. She's headed to the stripe for one more. Karate de Mercolino Alonso with the personal foul. First team foul of the period. And it's good. Molly Lavin making no mistakes. 36 plays 30. Great pressure on Iwunzi. Even better offense, though. Jimwe Iwunzi puts it home. 36 plays 32. Roberts finds Janna. Janna faked out the triple. Drove. Kicks to Lavin. Doesn't go from outside. Great pressure, but Iwunzi able to be found for that pass. Now Phelan on the outside. Triple's on the way. Phelan! Makes no mistakes. It's too easy for her. Sings the triple. All the credit in the world to Maggie Evans. Got out of the trap. Was able to set off that chain of events for the basket. And it's a one-point game. As Molly Lavin not able to finish. Carlotta de Benjamin Alonso comes off her foot. Two changes come in. Yude sits. Rawlings stands. And Almonte checking out. Alicia Moore checking in. No changes for the team in black uniforms. Team Emerald. Janna. Catch and shoot. Can't go. She's still on 22 points. Just the 22 points. As a Wunzi. Janna wanted to block her into next week. As it is. No block. But no make either. Roberts. Oh, strong screen set by Powsland on Lavin. Turned over. Powsland now. Has to pick it up. Can't finish. Lavin pulls down the rebound. Has players ahead of her. Rawlings on the wing. Rawlings cuts inside. Lavin takes it direct. Rawlings with the rebound. Janna doesn't even look for the her own shot. Because she finds Roberts. She finds the basket for three.
39 plays 35, five minutes left in the third. Oh, Roberts, just the strength. Rips it away from Ewunzi. The ball is still somehow alive. No fouls called. Gotta get a hand up on Phelan. Drops it down to Poundsland. Molly Lavin sends it back. Pass ahead to Alicia Moore with the finish. 41 plays 35. Changes coming for Team Emerald. Three changes coming for Emerald. That's their entire bench this weekend as the triples on the way from Jimmy Wunzi. Look for all the world that that was going to be a three. Couldn't go. 41 plays 35. Ryan Rawlings fakes her out, drops it off. Molly Lavin will finish. That's the Ryan Rawlings effect. Lavin very happy with the assist. Feeling has it denied by Jana. And it will be Jana taking it up the floor. Back to the basket very early. Finds more. Jana to the corner. More going in. Rejected. Maggie Evans. Ooh, and Team Emerald want to talk things over. Thought that timeout would come about a minute, minute and a half earlier. As it is, they're going to talk things over and expect to see some changes coming. Who's the most vocal in this timeout? It is the Mercalino Alonso. bit more from Batch. I think she's asking for better communication. Always important. How's the huddle looking for Team Sapphire? Again, everyone's calm, cool, collected. So we are Monday, the most vocal of the team in the red uniforms. And so they're just working out changes. And we're going to be back underway. So substitutions. Come so Phelan sits, Evan sits, and the Mercalino Alonso sits in their place. Elia Ando, Jessica Bieler, and I think Jess Batch are the players who have entered the fray. Powsland and Chimea Winsey also on the floor for Emerald. Rawlings battles to her spot, fouled in the act of shooting. Seven with the foul, that is Jessica Beeler. Now I make that her third personal. Check the live stats. As Ryan Rawlings makes it look easy from the stripe, good for two points. And yes, that is Beeler's third personal foul. Second team foul of the period. Nice ball movement from Emerald. Oh, the spin move. Can't get it to go. Ryan Rawlings with some excellent defense. And Emerald bench wanted a foul. There's nothing but ball in that one. Chimea Wunzi going to take it the other way after the attempt by Michaels. Ooh, that is a foul. Called on Alicia Moore. Straight back into things. 2.50 to play as the triple drops. Jess Bash hitting from outside once again. That's her second triple to go as Gamma Vaz can't finish from outside. 45 plays, 38. 2.30 left. In the third period, Bax, can she go for it again? Doesn't fancy it this time. Finds Powsland. Powsland spinning. Puts the shot up. That's been swatted away by Alicia Moore. It's going to stay with Team Emerald. Powsland. And oh, oh, lovely finish with the right hand from a tough spot. Makes it look so simple when it was anything but. Jana finds Michael. A little bit too strong. 
from Michaels. Imogen Oud to check in. She comes for Alicia Moore. Almonte also in for Michaels. I think Molly Lavin's going to check in next time. 120 left in the third period. Batch. Found Beeler. Beeler denied by Almonte. It's a Wunzi versus Jana. Jana got to get over the timeline. She does. Stays it down as she does it. Kicks to the top. Almonte thought about the triple. Going to find Jana on the outside. Gets a jump in. Puts up the three just off the mark. Knows where. I wonder if Jana would have just taken the shot, even with the defender jumping. That would have been a better outcome for her. We will never know as Gamba Vaz picks the pass and is fouled by a Wunzi in the act of shooting. Pass from Baksh. Gamma Vaz. She saw her opportunity. <laughs> the smile on her face when she picked that pass. So it's one shot, it's gonna be worth two if it goes. A little bit too strong into the hands of Palsen. And she gets to take it again. I think Palsen must have stepped in early, three seconds. So this will be the final play of the period. She will get to take her shot. Everybody else to the benches. And it's good for two points. Milen Gamavaz makes it 47-40 as Team Sapphire take the lead into the final 10. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back in just a moment to find out how this one ends. Hoops from Summer League 2023. Brought to you by Stan Sox and Contested.com. We're back inside the Brixton Rec Centre. Final 10 of the second game of the day. Our final women's game of the day. Team Sapphire taking on Team Emerald. And it's Team Emerald who are in a bit of a bind right now. Down seven to Sapphire. 47 plays. 40, Milan Gamavaz. Underneath, she was in a great spot. Couldn't get the finish. It was, of course, Gamavaz who just hit the free throw at the end of the third period turned over team sapphire going to take it the other way ryan rawlings over the timeline finds out monte hands off to molly lavin oh still loving goes downhill fouled She's headed to the line. Can she add one more? So a two-point shot goes. So back sits. De Mercalero Alonso enters the contest. This to make it a ten-point game. Rims out. They get the rebound. I think credit Almonte for that one. Puts up the triple. Just off the mark. As Lavin denied by Ando. As the double comes, it's going to stay with Team Emerald. Who so right now, they're looking at the barrel of their first hoops fixed defeat of the season. 
And the semi-finals for the women's and the men's next week. You can be here. Get across us on all the socials and don't forget to check us out. Hoopsfix.com has all the ticket information. It's feeling. She's had herself a day so far. That's tipped into the hands of Ngamava. Sorry, De Macmillan or Alonso can go from outside. Imogen Yud can't. Yeah. Well, there's nothing on Yud. It's the pass from Lavin. It was swatted by De Macmillan or Alonso. Changes. Belen Gamavaz and Silvia Almonte sit down in our Roberts and Jana. Jana going downhill. Puts it down. 24 on the board for Jana. Our leading scorer of the whole entire day. Trying to make it very clear. As Powsland checks into the game, Maggie Evans to the bench. So the and one coming for Jana. Puts it down. Makes no mistake. 52 plays 40. Jana on 25 points now. As that's in and out of the hands of Powsland. Can't go. Iwunze a little bit too strong as well as Jana is fouled on the rebound. It's foul called on Powsland. Okay, third personal. Kyra Powsland. Three's on the way. Tries to bank it home, does Roberts. Doesn't go. That's just batted out of play by Elia Ando. Stays with Team Sapphire. They're at 52-40. 5.55 left in the contest. Hands off to Janet from Rawlings. It's opened up, so allowed to take it. Iso can't go. It's been rebounded once again by Ando. Sends it ahead to Powsland. A bit of a loose pass there. I think she ideally wanted Phelan as Jana steps out of bounds. I wonder if Jana would have left that. It would have actually been Sapphire Ball. Can't take that risk, though. Is Chanel Michaels checks in for Ryan Rawlings. 12 points the difference. You may be able to overhear on the in house. On to Hera Jack. The uh, upcoming game, first men's game of the day, London United taking on Ankt. This is a great cut, good pass, can't finish though. That game comes up at 1 pm, so just 30 minutes time. Foul called on Ando for the push. And I think she's heading straight to the bench to be replaced by Jess Beeler. Ando captaining her side today. Over the timeline is Alicia Moore. Oh, Moore. Cuts through, good mate. Through a lot of contact, 54 plays 40. Great job. Feeling. Yet to score in this final period. Team Emerald, it stays out. Stays with Emerald. Beeler to inbound. Underneath to Iwunzi. Fouled on the make. Heading to the stripe to add one more. Foul called on Tiba Roberts. Two 
Too strong on the three-point play. Kicks it to the top. Phelan just short on the triple. Di Mercolino Alonso gets it back. Phelan wide left. Substitution. Gamavaz checks in for Jana. Roberts up the floor. Good screen set by Lavin. Goes underneath. Battle of the bigs now. Kicks out. Moore steps in. Puts down the two. That's good basketball. Had Jess Beeler jumping out on the outside. Steps around her. Puts it home. 56 plays 42. Not what we were expecting coming into today. That's why the game, the play the games, and anything can happen. At the Hoofsticks Prime Summer League. And you want to be part of the action, Hoofsticks.com. All the information for tickets, they are free of charge. You can't beat free. But you do need to register. Two minutes to play. We are into regular FIBA basketball now. The clock will stop and you will shoot all of your free throws. That's been batted around. They've got to get the time over. Sorry, ball over the timeline. They do just. Oh, Chiwe Wunze. Giving far too much room. Found by De Mercolino Alonso for two. That's a good make. They're still in this. Down 12. Molly Lavin, though. Sees the time, sees the score. Slows things down. Roberts on the outside. Screen set by Gamavaz. Into the corner. To the top now with Gamavaz. Molly Lavin puts up the three. Puts down the three. As uh, equipment is called. <laughs> They've made Alicia Moore tire lace and then Alicia Moore substitutes out. Wednesday on the outside. One minute to play in this one. Has it, well, had it taken away for just a second. Pauslin puts it home. That's good for two more. 59 plays 46. Final minute to play. Tiwa Roberts very aware of the time. Finds Gamma Vaz. Rawlings with the rebound, cut around, tried to send it inside to Gamma Vaz. I think Gamavaz was quite alive to what Rawlings was looking for. On the outside, De Mercolino Alonso on the rim and out. Oh, that's a beautiful spin move. Good for two, Jeff Beeler. Nice finish, 59 plays, 48. To the top with Rawlings. Oh, that's a nice disguised pass inside. Almonte not able to keep up with it. 16.6 .6 seconds left on the game clock. Phelan over the timeline. Puts up the triple. Off the mark, out of play. 8.4 seconds. Now, do they go for another make, Team Sapphire? She's going to dribble out. That's going to do it. Team Sapphire take the win. 59-48 over Team Emerald. A result that I don't think anybody was expecting to see. Certainly not by that kind of margin. That was an excellent, excellent game of basketball. And all eyes on the table right now to see how quickly that can be updated that's going to move team sapphire to two victories it's going to improve their points difference to minus two which should see them leapfrog team sapphire uh, team diamond which would set them up for the 2-3 clash against team ruby next week let's just see 
what happens. It does indeed, as it is updated in real time. So, the final standings in the women's pool. Team Emerald topped the group with a 2-1 record, four points. Team Ruby was second with a 2-1 record, four points. Team Sapphire in third, two points, but a minus two points differential. Team Diamond, they finish in fourth, one and two, two points, minus 18. It's all to play for next week then, as we're gonna see Emerald versus Diamond in one semi-final and Ruby versus Sapphire in an other. Just very quickly, in this game, who were the points leaders? It was Fatima Jana, 25 points in the contest. Started like a house on fire, built the foundation for her team to succeed, and they stayed succeeding. Molly Lavin had 14 points to go along with her 10 rebounds. She really showed out as well. Chiron Wunze and Tyra Feenan both had 12 points. And Carota de Mercolino Alonso led her side with nine rebounds, eight rebounds as well for Chimwe Wunze. De Mercolino Alonso also had three assists. That's going to do it for the women's division today. That's going to do it for our second game of the day. Join us at 1 p.m. in London United taking on Ankh here in the Hoops Fix Prime Summer League 2023 brought to you by Stan Sox and contested 